Hello, and welcome to this week's Force.comcast episode, which is the next part in our lightning series, where we're going to create our fourth lightning component before we then start bringing them all together with the event model uh, in next week's series. So I'd like to start this uh, week's episode by first of all apologising that there's been a short hiatus in the series. Um, you know, For those who know me, there's been a number of uh, things going on in my personal life, all good things um, that have just taken me away from this, as well as you know, just general day-to-day -day work. So um, I've been very busy and I'm afraid I haven't been able to get around to these, but normal service should now be resumed. So in this week's episode, we're going to learn about creating this fourth component we have down here. We've just got some custom graphics that we've input um, and just bringing back some information around an account. So at the moment, this is hard-coded to the salesforce.com account I have in my system. And you can see we have here um, just the annual revenue. Um, so that's 5 billion US dollars in euros and the number of employees. And we have uh, our lightning app here. When we refresh that, you can see the system goes away and it will load up the data from the account in the background to populate those fields for us. So how have we done this? So the first thing we've done is we've included the font awesome uh, CSS um, markup to allow us to get these brilliant little icons we can put in here, so the dollar sign and the users logo here. And so you can get font awesome by just Googling font awesome and you'll find it. Um, there's you know a large number of different uh, items you can have on there that are all CSS based. Um, if we go in and look at the items list, for example, you can see they've got some here for you know, aligning left and right, adding a user, um, shirts, you know, you name it. There's probably a, uh, an icon for it. Um, and you can add them all just using CSS. So you just put a class, um, and either an italics tag um, or a span tag if you want to be a bit more semantically correct. So we include that as a static resource, um, and that allows us to use those icons. And we just load that in as we have been doing with all of our other, all of our other static resources. So if we have a look at the component uh, markup here, first thing we can see is that we have an account info aura controller, which is our um, Apex controller. That Apex controller has a single method called get account, um, and that just gets the ID, name, number of employees, annual revenue from the account. And at the moment, we're going to hard code the ID. In uh, the next episode, we're going to link all of the system together using events, and that will allow us to retrieve um, based upon the selected account from our account list. Okay. So now that we've got that there, and it's a very simple query, I don't think anyone needs an explanation of how that works. Um, we have a requirement um, to include our style, which is our font awesome. We have um, an attribute, which is our account that we're working with. And then we have our initialization handler, as we've always had before. Same layout, um, you know, the CSS from uh, Salesforce One Bootstrap. Um, and all we're doing is we're displaying information about a certain account name. And then we're outputting the uh, annual revenue in some text here. I've added um, a class, which we'll look into in a sec, for some styling. And then this is where we're using Font Awesome. So I've just put a span in to be a bit more um, semantically correct rather than using the italic class. Um, and we're using the USD symbol and uh, the F, uh, 5x here, first to it being a large symbol or five times the size symbol. And similarly down here, we have one for the users and we're displaying the number of users and we've just got a little bit of CSS. So very, very simple, very, very easy to use. And um, the CSS that I referred to a minute ago was the info class. Uh, and that just makes sure that the text uh, is in the, of the right height, displays in the right area for us. And the final thing here, which is where we have some clever work being done, is just calling that get account method. So that calls that method, retrieves the items again, and then just sets it on that attribute we had, this account attribute. It's really simple and easy to use, um, and we just include it as we have done all the others. And then we can look at our preview. In fact, let's update the preview just to check. And it goes in there. Ooh. <coughs> so yeah, we can see this all works well, and now we have four components. So now we've seen how to get some components working, how to retrieve some data. So here we're retrieving using the analytics API and including some JavaScript libraries and CSS libraries. Here we're just making a call 
to an Apex class to insert a record. Here we're retrieving a list of records. Um, and here we're just retrieving some data for a particular record. What we want to do is we want to be able to link these all together so that in the future we can click on one of these here and it'll connect this so that when we create a task it's against that account. It'll connect this so that we filter the opportunity by this account ID and it'll also update this so that it uses the Burlington Textiles Corp of America account and updates these values. So that's what we're going to look into next week um, and that episode uh, will be coming up. Um, one of the things that you have to be aware of um, just before we finish around the CSS for this um, is around the use of uh, spaces in this. So um, if you are using, um, so say we change this to this.info as such, this is still valid CSS, um, however our styles will now not work. Favorite to reload. You can see the text has dropped to the bottom here. And this is because uh, when working with CSS in Lightning, uh, dot this dot info is very different from dot this space dot info. Um, so you can find out a lot more about it in the documentation, but make sure if you are following along at home, creating this code yourself, you have the space in there. Um, effectively, if you're using with no spaces, you are referring to a top level element. Whereas if you're referring to it with a space in there, uh, it's a, to be used on a lower down element, not a top level item. Okay. So that's uh, all we have for this week. And in next week, we'll see the events being put together so that we can start having these be very, a bit more interactive um, and start adding some cool functionality around them.